we have our screenshot ready so we can maybe create an iPhone 5 mockup. Here I have this, this screenshot which we have created and I also downloaded some front view of the iPhone 5 which will serve as a base. So I'll maybe set it in front of the text and I will set the same for this image so I can have them over. I'll move it, maybe resize it a little bit. I only need this left part because I will probably create a black iPhone. As a starter I will draw a new rounded rectangle shape in the size of the iPhone. Zoom in and adjust the corners, probably even the size, like this. Okay, I think this is just fine. I will probably show the format pane and change the fill opacity to maybe 50% so I can see it. everything better, what's beneath. I will move it over this front view, like this. I will position our screenshot like this to have the right size. Like this. Zoom in to draw this camera, which is just a oval draw with the shift key, so it's forming a circle. And this speaker, which is just another rounded rectangle. So draw a new rounded rectangle. Adjust the roundness for the maximum size and move down to draw this home button that is insert, a new shape, new ellipse, like this. Maybe also make it a little bit transparent for now and insert new rounded rectangle shape like this. Make it more rounded. I think this is just fine. The last thing which we want to add before we move to actual colors is this highlight shape. We will reuse this background rounded rectangle, copy paste it and in the format ribbon we will select this edit points at point here that is click with the control key. Well, maybe you can even click without the control key. No. And around here with the control key. Now we want to delete those left points so right click set, select delete or we can even click with the control key to delete those points. That is this point, this point, this point, and this point. So we have a shape like this. It should be less rounded. So we probably grab this handle and move it like this. And do the same for this second point. Okay, so we have this highlight part. I will show the selection pane. Make it a little bit smaller and probably move this away or maybe hide it for a while. Now for this background rectangle I will change the fill color to black, transparency to zero, line to no line. I will grab our picture and move it over this rounded rectangle so it's visible. And for this highlight I will set the line to no line and fill to gradient fill. And that will be from the white to white. But one of them will be transparent, set with 100% and second one will be less transparent. But before we do so we will adjust the angle. So it will go from the top left corner. Like this. Make this a little bit more transparent. And the second one a little bit less transparent like, like this. I think this is just fine. So we can move to this camera and this and the speaker part. We will grab both rounded rectangle and this oval and move it over the highlight that is all the way to the top. Firstly select, or well, we can probably select both of them, set the fill to maybe this darker one and set the line to gradient line. Well, for the gradient line we will we will draw a line from black to a little bit lighter gray on the bottom. So for the first step we will select the black color, we will add another step, change it to black and the only one which will be a little bit different will be the last one which will be set to some lighter gray. Maybe this one. Maybe even darker. Okay, this looks nice. Maybe we can make it a little bit 
thicker so we will adjust the width to maybe two points or so and adjust the gradient a little bit maybe make it a little bit lighter so we can see it better we still cannot see it very much so I will adjust it even more like this okay we can also add a subtle drop shadow in some light color so if we add the shadow but change it to white instead and change the blur to zero distance to maybe one point transparency to maybe 60 or so it will cre create a smaller highlight below those parts which is which is fine maybe the speaker if the outline is too big so we'll make it a little bit smaller select the background and align it properly to the center you can also do it for the camera icon or camera part okay we can move to the home button for the home button we want to also set the fill to gradient fill but we will set it from the light color on the bottom so on the bottom we will set for example some lighter gray going to even more lighter gray like this then add the gradient stop in the black color and move it close to those two and we want probably to make those colors much darker like this for the outline we will also use a gradient line and we will show some light highlight from the top and bigger highlight from the bottom so on the top we will set the highlight to the color to some dark gray going to black this will be also black and there will be a lighter color on the bottom like this maybe make it a little bit thicker check it in the real size it's probably too thick so I will go back to one point only for the outline for the icon we will set the fill to no fill and outline to some light color maybe even white and raise the transparency so it's subtle of course position it properly to be center aligned so we have the speaker we have the camera we have also the home button and we can move to the 3d shape one more thing for the icon on the home button I will make it a little bit thicker maybe like one and a half points so it's more visible okay so what we will do now is to select everything of course except this picture select this rounded rectangle picture oval and all the rounded rectangles group it together and now select the rounded rectangle only and copy paste it that is this rounded rectangle will be our 3d extruded shape and everything else will be just rotated so we will select both probably copy it paste it to the new page and for this rounded rectangle we will play with the 3d settings that is jump into the 3d rotation select any for any preset from the perspective maybe hide this group for a minute and we want to you know have it somehow rotated we want to less of the perspective so we will lower it to maybe I don't know 55 or so and we will rotate it like this and on the other side maybe this this is just about fine to make it a little bit easier I will 
All right, I will type some whole numbers like 55, 350, and 320, so I can reuse those values later for the other shapes. So this is our shape. We want, of course, to have some depth, so we will jump into the 3D format settings and set the depth to maybe 20 points or so. And of course, have the top and bottom bevel around it, so we'll set it to circle for both. And now we need to adjust the lightning. We will change the material maybe to metal because we want so we want to have some strong highlights. And the lightning can be, for example, maybe this balance one because it's kind of forming this nice highlight on the, on the side. Maybe adjust it a little bit. Maybe this one is fine. We don't need to care about the, this front side because it will be covered with our shape later so we mainly need to care about those sides and those bevels but this should be probably fine so we need now to remember those values 55 350 320 and 55 show i show this group move it to bring it to front and set any preset from the free rotation and type in our values You can see that the sizes don't match, but that's fine. We can resize this rounded rectangle a little bit. I will probably make it less of the depth, so maybe set the size for the free depth to just only 16 or so, 18. But otherwise, this looks pretty nice. Maybe we can even play with the other settings like the contour. If we set it to some color, you can see that we have this contour which kind of looks like a highlight, which can be useful. It adds uh, some additional details, so we can we can use it and set it to some color to have some additional details in there. We can also resize it just a little bit more so we can see this top bevel like this the next thing which we want to add is a drop shadow below the phone so we'll insert new shape and that would be this freeform shape and we will draw it like this that would be our shadow which we will fill with the gradient and that would be from the black color to some maybe light gray, rotate it so the black is coming from the left. We can maybe set the second color to some distinctive one so we can adjust the angle properly, like this. And when we are ready and satisfied with the angle, we can adjust the second gradient stuff to a different color, move it more to the left, set the transparency to 100, set the line to no line, and blur this shape by setting the sub edges to maybe 20 or so. Now we can adjust the points of this shape so we can see it a little bit below the phone. Maybe have it smaller like this. It's still too much visible so we will adjust the fill even more. Should be enough. Now if you zoom in you can see that there are some imperfections in the 3D shape but that's fine because it's just for the for in, inside the world if we export it as a PNG image they will go away. So this is our phone we can even change the background color to some different one. We are ready to go. That's it.